Hello, we're Martin and Helen, and two months ago we set off in our motorhome across on the Eurotunnel to France, where we stayed the night on a chateau, visited a war crimes site, walked part of the Camino pilgrim route before travelling over the Pyrenees into Spain, where we were rained on before riding our bikes in the lemon fields with friends. Walked into Benidorm, stayed the night on a monastery site, visited an Islamic palace before deciding to head for the beach. After a few days chilling at the beach, we decided to head off and immerse ourselves in some Spanish history. There are few better places for this than the city of Ronda. Ronda is a mountaintop city in Spain's Malaga province. There are two parts, an old and a new, separated by the El Tajo Gorge. The city received its status from Julius Caesar, but the Romans were not the first there. Well, the big coats are back out, the headgear's back on, we're up in the hills, it's 8 degrees, it was 18 yesterday, so we're managing a 10 degree drop in weather, and we're going out to have a look round uh, over to a place called Ronda, well regarded, quite a famous place to, to visit, uh, we sit on this great little air, and um, it's not a free air, but uh, for it's well resourced, great fast Wi-Fi, electric, washing, toilet, facilities, showers, everything facilities, etc, etc, et yeah. so it's a pretty good spot. Um, so we're going to dash out because there is a yellow warning for rain as well on the horizon. Why not? <laughs> the funny year in keeping with the rest of the trip, and um, but nevertheless, you can't keep us down. Can't keep us down. So we're making this way through Ronda towards the uh, bridge over the gorge. Yes, the old Which part of the town. Sure is pronounced Toha yeah. or Toja. To yeah, Toho, Toha, whatever. But we'll find out when we get there. Jay's H sounding, so yes. we'll see. Today's fun fact, the bullfighting ring in Ronda is the oldest in Spain. Ronda is, it's in Ansel in Andalusia and we are 65 miles west of Malaga. Ronda is split into two halves, 
There's the new town and there's the old town. And it's the old town that we're particularly interested in. Surprisingly, first occupied by the Celts, then the Phoenicians, the Romans and then the Moors, all ruled over Ronda for periods of time. The city was ravished during the Napoleonic Wars and the Spanish Civil Wars and was the place where Ernest Hemingway set his scene of the execution of the fascist sympathisers in his book From Whom the Bell Tolls. It's quite a deep gorge down there. You can see why they needed the bridge. The old historic part of Ronda is about a 20 minute walk from the motorhome air. It's relatively flat and in the town, there's the, in the new part of town, there's plenty of shops, everything uh, you could buy you, that you wanted. And in the old town, there's plenty of restaurants, plenty of cafe bars, and there's certainly a lot to see. Every square you come to this place, it's just different again. You just uh, dropped upon, it's like a church and the back of the interior ministry headquarters. And uh, the, surrounded by trees with oranges hanging from, it's absolutely wonderful. Good morning. Well, it's 7 a.m. and of course we are uh, an hour in front in Spain. And I'm walking to the bakery because Helen likes pastries for breakfast and I feel like getting in her good books. So on we go. Well, that's it. After endlessly pounding the footpath, footpaths for a, a whole five minutes, I found the Pandaria, I think it's called, uh, the bakery. So got breakfast cakes, so I'm going to get off on a good foot today and be in the good books. Because we've got a long journey ahead, we're going across to Portugal, it's about a six hour drive. So we need to get some fuel insiders and get going.